Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got the review for you of the Mi Electronics Air 5 Matrix AF62 headphones. These are a set of stereo Bluetooth headphones that have a set of 40mm drivers and are intended to be used wirelessly, so no cables involved. They have a built-in battery that is capable of up to 18 hours of music playback and 250 hours of standby time, so you shouldn't have any issues in terms of the battery life. You'll also see in the design aspect, they've tried to go on with a full-on carbon fiber look to it. It overall does look pretty nice, and it really comes down to what you enjoy in the design of your headphones. The rest of which is made out of plastic. It does feel a little bit cheap at times, but I didn't really find any issues in the durability. There's also a built-in set of microphones that makes it very easy to make and receive calls while you're listening to your music or have these headphones on. But one of the biggest questions with the Bluetooth headphone is how is it sound? Because through the wireless transmission of Bluetooth, there obviously is some loss in the audio quality, and a wired set of headphones is obviously going to bring you the best sound possible. However, there are quite a few Bluetooth headphones out there that still deliver a very good sound even through the wireless compression. With the Matrix, I noticed that the sound quality was, I'd say decent, but I noticed that the bass was pretty much very overpowering. It wasn't that everything else was unclear or muddy, but the fact that the bass was just tuned much louder compared to the mids and the highs. The mids and the highs actually sounded pretty good or even decent, but the fact that they were just so quiet, it made it a little bit hard to hear or notice the mids and the highs, as the bass, like I said, just kind of stood out over everything else. Of course, this really comes down to self-preference, and some people may actually prefer that, and in that case, these set of headphones would be for you. Although I said these set of headphones are made out of plastic that can feel cheap at times, that definitely isn't the case. As you can see here, I'm bending the headphones and there's no issue, no snapping or breaking. They're very flexible, so I think in terms of the actual durability, it is much stronger than it does appear. But one thing I didn't like about the Matrix is that they really aren't the most comfortable things to use in the world. I noticed that a lot of times I was trying to figure out which side I was wearing these set of headphones on, but both sides it kind of just felt like they weren't really angled properly. The ear cups are there, there is a little bit of padding there, but I would like to see just a little bit more. So in general, I just felt that these set of headphones were not really uncomfortable, but they definitely could be improved in that category by adding a little bit more padding into the ear cups. But the headband is definitely very comfortable comfortable and you can see these headphones do look very nice with its weaved carbon fiber look. But I will say this set of headphone definitely has most of the features that I did expect of a Bluetooth headphone. There is the control for the music all built into the actual headphone itself on the bottom as you can see, such as the volume control, the play, pause, and skip. So that makes it extremely convenient. So if you don't have your phone or a device that's streaming from nearby, as you know, Bluetooth typically works within about 50 feet. And also within the audio, I didn't notice any skips any here and there. The music was actually very smooth and worked very well. So the convenient factor is definitely there. The sound, for me, I think it could have been a little bit more balanced, but some people definitely do enjoy the bass, and the carbon fiber look is definitely an added plus. So without further ado, a big thanks to Me Electronic for saying this out for reviewing purposes, and the links to purchase will be right under the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.